Mark Emmerich is a complete failure at leadership. Many in the media despise the NCAA's president. There's not even a salary to debate. They're not employees, they're students. That being this man, Mark Emmert. If that's what people want out of college athletics, then of course it's not collegiate athletics anymore, it's professional athletics. Who epitomizes how out of touch an old white dude can be. We do have hungry nights that we don't have enough money to get food. With those putting their bodies on the line. So how big is March Madness? It draws in millions of viewers and breaks in more than $800 million each year from its television deal alone, which makes up more than 75% of the NCAA's yearly revenue. To profit off them. CNBC wrote prior to the era of name, image, and likeness, the college football stars per the National Bureau of Economic Research study that star athletes in collegiate football could earn as much as $2.4 million. Overall, via the Department of Education, these athletes bring in roughly $14 billion annually for the NCAA. If you're going to hire someone to play football for you, why would you want them to be a student? Yet there was Emmert on his high horse. I'm trying to get it to the point where the, uh, what they call the student athlete, which is really a myth, I, we, we got to end that. We have to come to reality. Emmert's been fighting the professionalism of sports. He's been fighting the NIL. And that's why it needs to be blown up and, and we need to start over again because this is a terrible system. A point many agree with, but the waters went from stormy to calm after the Supreme Court, when not in the process of gutting abortion rights, sided with the players. This was from Justice Kavanaugh. Nowhere else in America can businesses get away with agreeing to not pay their workers a fair market rate on their theory that their product is defined by not paying their workers a fair market rate. The NCAA is not above the law. It was really a holy crap, how are you just learning now how corrupt the NCAA is moment. So after the shellacking Emmert took, the NCAA finally, finally allowed athletes to profit just not from the NCAA. For the record, Emmert makes roughly $3 million annually off the backs of these kids, seeing an increase despite athletes traveling the country and competing in the middle of a pandemic pre-vaccine. Think of Emmert like, well, this. The NC Twig, they're the biggest pimps around. And now Emmert is back in the news for more idiocy. At the sports business journal Learfield Intercollegiate Athletics Forum, Emmert said being a university president is the hardest job in America. Fellow media member Andrew Marchand, formerly of ESPN, wrote out of touch for $100, Alex. He has no use whatsoever except taking up uh, air airwaves with idiotic, inane, and, and unimportant statements. Facts only. While that job may be more complex than it once was, making that statement is pretty ridiculous, if not insulting, given the incredible hardships that other jobs face amid the continued spread of COVID-19. The tone deafness is overwhelming with this dude. Maybe being in a higher up position at a uni is a hard job for Emmert, though. At Montana State, the NCAA found a lack of institutional control in 93 when Emmert was on the senior management team. The NCAA found academic fraud. Emmert maintains he had no knowledge of it, but at the University of Connecticut, Emmert supervised a $1 billion construction project that launched in 95 but gradually became an epic mess with widespread code violations and tens of millions of dollars in budget overruns. Emmert, of course, denied any knowledge, contradicting Jonathan Pelto, who co-chaired the investigation into this mess for Connecticut Governor Jody Rell. Pelto said Emmert was in a position to blow the whistle and didn't. Governor Rell called the fiasco an astounding failure of oversight and management. Also against Emmert, investigators uncovering memos from 98-99 showing that Emmert and two other top UConn officials knew about the construction project's big problems but failed to disclose them to the school's board of trustees or the state legislature. The other two officials ultimately resigned after being placed on leave. The third, Emmert, went on to become president of the NCAA. As chancellor at LSU, an academic fraud scandal emerged in the football program under then coach Nick Saban. Emmert oversaw an investigation into the allegations made by a university instructor that eventually acknowledged five minor and isolated violations and declared most of the claims unfounded. Observers have said he is like a politician, to which I agree. Like Roger Goodell is to the NFL, Emmert is their Kevin McCarthy, saying whatever he must to maintain power and control, even when the facts our blindness to bias.